My name is Reza Borg um, and uh, I like to do a mix of different types of creative work from graphic design, illustration, fine arts and murals. My work is influenced by digital technology because I do a lot of digital illustration. A lot of my murals are inspired by the digital styles that I create. Um, I work on the computer and a lot of my um, uh, Paintings are actually influenced by uh, the digital uh, design work that I do on the computer. So the style is very clean and it mimics the digital kind of style um, when I paint. What inspires me to be creative? Um, I have a deep desire to create work with a positive message. So my work is really inspired to really uh, question the norms and question what maybe some people think is, is right or wrong and to create work that yeah, really uh, hopefully uplifts people, uh, um, uplifts people's spirits and uplifts uh, people's um, perspective on things. Sometimes we get uh, sold a certain um, uh, perspective and, and, and yeah, I'd like to challenge those kind of things and create work that really hopefully resonates people uh, on a human level. Uh, the title of the mural is Back to the Future which refers to an old uh, sci-fi movie in the 80s. Um, the mural depicts a lady with a VR headset on her head um, with her back to the viewer with a flying taxi and uh, like a robotic uh, bird with a woman inside it. And it, uh, this mural was, was commissioned by Innovate Durban, uh, a company that promotes technology um, in the KZN region. Um, so we were, we were asked to create a mural that celebrates technology. But I think also further, um, the mural is also about what, um, what could a future Durban look like? Could we have flying taxis? When you look at the way that I've designed it, I've really looked at what is behind the mural, which is, you'll see like a skyline of uh, Durban CBD. And this woman is actually looking out uh, into the distance. and coming out of a VR set are like different technology, technological uh, elements, but that also could be representative of, of different things, like her vision expanding and growing and having a perspective of, of dreaming, of, of imagining what, what Durban could be like. Um, it's also a metaphor for like, sometimes we don't see the potential of where we live. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes as you get older, you look back and see how things have changed. Like, wow, like you could never imagine like this little thing where you live or whatever you experience and how things uh, have changed or evolved, um, such as flying taxis. Maybe that's what some people will have in the future. Um, so the mural is really about uh, imagining a future Durban. What could your town look like in the future? Um, and I'm hoping that where the mural is situated, um, that kids coming past or adults and the general public going past, hopefully they, it sparks like a sense of optimism. And they'll be like, oh wow, that's so cool. What is this mural about? And maybe they start thinking and interpreting it in their own way and give them a sense of hope that Durban could uh, become, uh, could de develop and might surprise people. Uh, so yeah, Back to the Future is, is all about uh, looking, looking ahead to the future.